switch gears now, talk about moms. On this Mother's Day, we're going to meet a mother and wife who certainly knows a little something about baseball. That's right. Karen Rinicky is married to Brewers manager Ron Rinicky. And Jesse Garcia has an exclusive interview from their home. Karen Renicki is happy to show us a little slice of her life in a third ward condo. So we wanted to get a loft because it's completely different from what we have in California. We thought that would be really cool. She grew up just 15 miles from Ron, but they didn't cross paths until much later. We met in uh, 1977 and uh, she was going to school and at college with my sister. We went out with his brother and his girlfriend and another couple, and I remember them talking about baseball. I, I had no idea that he was a baseball player or that world. He had just signed with the Dodgers and had one season. So their whole conversation that evening was about baseball. I'm thinking, what is this all about? They married and had a son. Karen taught high school physical education in California for 20 years. She kept the job at first after Ron was hired by the Brewers, but recently decided to retire. I tried to do it, teach, and come out to see him one year, and it was just too hard. Now, whether it's painting her own picture at a local place, buying some truly Wisconsin art at the Madison Farmer's Market, or driving to Appleton to see son Lance coach first base for the Timber Rattlers, Karen is comfortable going all over Wisconsin. Her athletic personality and ability to be on her own are just two of the reasons Ron was attracted to her. It's a good match. Um, you know, we both like basically the same thing. Plus being independent. This is a really tough life for baseball wives. She understands that when I have off days, sometimes I just need to go out and, and relax. So she, she says, yeah, you know. Yeah, he doesn't need to spend it with me. Yeah, we spend you, a lot of time yeah. with each other. So You go do what you need. So I go out, I usually I play golf. Karen says the number one question she gets is whether or not she attends every home game. The answer, no. She'll try to hit at least one or two per homestand, but also watches from the comfort of the couch. I'll go if we have an activity, the wives, we do a lot of um, activities with the community, sure. the Brewers Community Foundation. It's easy just to pop over to a game, but I, I don't go to as many games as people think. Their son Lance followed in his dad's footsteps, first becoming a player, but recently switching to the coaching side. Ron and Lance talk nearly every day. They've always had baseball in common, but now it's the coaching. And for me to sit back and watch that and listen to that, it's just fantastic. Lance got engaged, which has Karen already dreaming about grandchildren. I'm so excited about that. I can't wait. So, but they said, he said, Mom, you have to wait a few years. Okay, all right. <laughs> For now, Ron works on mentoring his stable of players, and Karen has become the first lady of Milwaukee baseball. She even ran as the hot dog in the sausage race once. So I did this my second year here, and that was my highlight. <laughs> that was so much fun. Ron was worried I was going to wipe out, but I didn't. Are you going to do it again? No, I think once is good. <laughs> <laughs> Next year, Ron and Karen will be married 30 years. They will both say it's been a great ride with so much still to come. In Milwaukee, Jesse Garcia, today's TMJ4. Oh, great. Well, you know, it was a gorgeous start to the day.